to the movies this weekend. The Top Gun fever continues at the box office, and the iconic sequel, Top Gun Maverick, is breaking records past the speed of sound. And for us here in the Valley, the movie holds even more significance. Aviator stationed at Naval Air Station Lemoore actually flew in the movie, helping create these captivating flight scenes you watch play out on the big screen. So when you watch these scenes at the movies, you may not know in the cockpit. Our naval aviator stationed right here in Lemoore, and I caught up with Commander Kristen Hansen, call sign Dragon, who flew multiple actors in the movie. As she tells us, Lemoore aviators played a huge role in making Tom Cruise's Top Gun sequel a reality. It's a heart stopping look at the world of naval aviation. There's a clip where Tom Cruise goes, um, You know, I want to make the greatest aviation film ever made. Is it the greatest aviation film ever made? I'm a little biased, but I, I personally think it is. It's probably the best footage anybody has ever been able to take in a cockpit. The cameras they had in the cockpits were just. So cool. Commander Kristen Hansen heads up a strike fighter squadron of aviators at NAS Lemoore. Years ago, when Top Gun Maverick was in the early stages, she was stationed at another base in Fallon, Nevada. Aviators often fly between the two bases. In a surreal moment, Hansen was asked to help with scenes of the new Top Gun. So were many pilots at NAS Lemoore. Pretty much went down the flight line, and if we had somebody that was home and available and interested, they asked if they were interested in flying in the movie, and we obviously did not have trouble finding volunteers. Jets dogfighting. Here comes some G's. Shooting into the sky and spiraling into the air. Very, very little uh, CGI. So all. Pretty much everything was done in an aircraft. The CGI that was used was in uh, small instances when it would have been unsafe to put the aircraft that close. And in those cases, they filmed the maneuvers and then just CGI'd them closer, or um, they might have like added an aircraft. If you're seeing it, an aircraft uh, most likely actually did it. Hansen's part was about one week flying with actress Monica Barbaro. She's such a phenomenal actress and amazing person. And actor Lewis Pullman, who plays a weapon system officer or WIZO from Lemoore. Making sure the sun angle was correct and to make sure we are at the proper altitude and that they were all set in the back and the cameras were on at the, the right time. So once we get out there, it was definitely, okay, let's make this happen. A meeting of worlds, the technical magic of naval aviation. <laughs> and the cinematic excellence of Hollywood. But the actors didn't just suit up, they went through training beforehand to prepare, including water training simulating being ejected from a jet. Obviously, they're portraying characters, but the people themselves pretty much form all the characters that you would have in a normal ready room. And they were just so laid back and so much fun to work with, just an incredible group of people. The crew led by famous actor Tom Cruise, who Hansen also got to meet. It was fun to watch him work with the actors to get what they needed for the shots. Production utilized parts of the base getting shots along actual training routes from Lemoore to Nevada, all of them in the F-18 Super Hornet. If you're on the West Coast and flying uh, F-18s, you're in Lemoore. So Tom Cruise knew exactly where he needed to go. The real work these aviators do to stay ready for any enemy at any time brought to life on screen. <laughs> as someone inspired by the first movie herself early in her career. Now watching a second generation feel pride in American fighters. Paramount really did capture the lives of those who serve our country. To be able to showcase uh, the aviation community like that, and then hopefully for everybody in the Central Valley to realize that yard all the time and every single day there's flights and missions and training that's coming out of Lemoore, California and that's really at the heart of it all. Just amazing, right? And Hansen said many Lemoore aviators helped on the film. In fact, the production team could call up anyone for any period of time. They'd brief beforehand, kind of like you see in the movie. They'd fly about an hour and a half to get the shots and then debrief. And Hansen says that's just a testament to the readiness and talent on display in Lemoore right in our backyard, as she said. Such an amazing glimpse into their lives. 6.52, let's go ahead and check in in New York for a look at what's coming up in a few minutes at 7 o'clock. Good morning.